is TFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on the 17th day of January, Tuesday. We're looking at the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update. We're down 177 in the Dow at 34,138. So we're possibly going to make a, a peak D today. We'll see. Uh, and that's very interesting because uh, I mentioned to subscribe to my opening call in my uh, weekend uh, very long uh, overview video that uh, there were different things going on right now. Dow looked a little bit tired, but look at the S&P. The S&P is trading uh, at a new recovery high at 4,005, up, up six, and it's over the 200 period moving average. That should be a resistance, so we're going to see if a magnet, at least for now. But look at this other thing is the QQQ, the NDX 100, finally showing some strength. It's up 71 cents at 281.55. And the IWM, which last week I was mentioning, was showing a lot of uh, key support. Uh, in fact, it was showing kind of some, somewhat an independent mode. And that's what we're looking at this market right now. We're seeing some kind of a rotation going on. I'll talk about that as we move along. Because if you're looking at gold, gold is down a little bit. It's only down six points at uh, 19.15. And it seems to me that the dollar... I had spoken about this on my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, which is coming up in a few minutes, but on my Friday show, that there's a chance that the dollar might just have to revisit the 103s. It's at 101.98 right now, and that could see a little bit of a pullback in the in the gold. Uh, that hasn't happened. Uh, the dollar is down 22 ticks. And if you're looking at the TLT, which is bonds, uh, bonds are down uh, 48. That means yields are going up a little bit at 106.30. And you're looking at the crude oil. <clears throat> Crude had a very strong move. It's up one at 80.86, a very nice move from the 70s twos. It's up eight points in, in a week and a half. That's good, but it really has to get over the 83 level to start to break above the 200 period moving average. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. This is a fascinating uh, period because last week gave us a lot of evidence of basically what's happening at this particular point. And that says there is a lot of strength in some sectors that were weak, and that is very important. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out my opening call, Daily News Editor. See you in a few moments.